Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did for his. To be honest, everyone, I've gone through a hard few days as far as I know, and a lot of controversy and such. And I just hope that I can get empathy from you guys in order to uh, recover psychologically and such. You don't have to, I'm just saying. I just want to make things work. So, um, for this particular footage, I'm going to um, introduce three new characters. Well, in a sense, two characters and one species if that makes any sense. So if you guys bear with me, I'm going to introduce them each, and I hope you guys would tag along, and I hope that there would be some comprehension for you guys. Just bear with me. Here's the first one, a species. Hands. Real name, varied. Length, 8 inches. Weight, half a pound. Status, anti-hero and otherworldly organisms. Base, the planet Palm, mobile. Intelligence, varied. Behavior, depends on the individual. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, amputations, blood loss, and arthritis. Powers, they all possess opposable thumbs and independent consciousness, uncanny musical skills, and other different capabilities. Eyes and hair, none. Origin. On the planet Palm, there are a series of different cities populated by only one form of life. Sentient floating hands, each with a mind of their own. Every hand has a humanoid personality and due to them having no need to eat, drink, or sleep, there are no restaurants or restrooms, although there are sinks. Along with that, the hands are able to reproduce by budding, and each pair of hands are capable of gestating no more than ten baby hands overall. One time, the intergalactic explorer known as Captain Wagers learned about the natives of Palm and decided to introduce the hands to life on other planets. Nowadays, you could see at least a few hands in elaborate restaurants where they use their uncanny music skills to play musical instruments of all varieties. Costume? None. Teams? Solitary or with others. Original inspiration? Otherworldly oddities. I hope that's a decent one for you guys, to be honest. The next one is a character with... Plenty of data for me to introduce in terms of him, and I just hope that it's comprehensible for you guys. Illusion. Real name, Pierre. Height, 5 feet 9 inches. Weight, 148 pounds. Status, villain turned hero, expert magician. Base, Paris, France, mobile. Intelligence, 3.5 brains. Behavior. Charming, sneaky, and utterly mysterious. He will nowadays do practically anything to please his beloved Whitney. Lethality. Surprisingly deadly, but usually during a fight. Weaknesses. He hates it when his powers don't go the way they should. Powers. He has a variety of magical powers. He can turn himself and others invisible. Can teleport levitate, throw explosive or sharp cards, and can project beams of magical energy from his wand. He could also summon a horde of predatory rabbits from his top hat. Eyes, light brown, hair, deep black. Origin. Pierre was an average French man who wanted to be a great magician since his youth, though he wasn't successful. One day, he was visited by, the, by Satana, ruler of Tartarus, who gave him access to magic powers. Eventually, 
His extreme pride made him force people to enjoy his magic. Soon, Illusion fought the feminine witch Whitney, who condemned him to reside in her scalp, along with having severe limits to his powers. After a time of finding food and fighting against lice, Illusion realized that he had fallen in love with her, and he later made an apology letter for Whitney. After reading it, she forgave Illusion and took him back to normal size and power level, stating that if he commits any crimes again, she'll give him no chance in forgiveness. Since then, Whitney and Illusion were great lovers and allies, who even founded the Fortress of Magic together. Costume. She wears the tradi he wears the traditional magician clothes. Team Solitary with Whitney or other heroes. Origin Inspiration? Magicians. I hope that's decent to you guys, as of so far. And here's the last character I'm going to introduce, and I hope it's decent in terms of calculations. Jester. Real name? Dr. Holly Quiz. Height, 6 feet 3 inches to 215 feet. Weight, 153 pounds to 8.500 tons. Like... 8,500 tons, basically. Status, villain turned hero and queen of insanity. Base, Seattle, mobile. Intelligence, four and a half brains. Behavior, loopy and creative. She enjoys putting her talents to good use. Lethality, extremely deadly, regardless of size. Weaknesses, she suffers from positivity overload. Powers, she has a high intellect, martial arts, can make a disorienting laugh, and can expand to the size of a skyscraper. She wields a sanity hammer, which is a large, large spiked mallet that also acts as a boomerang, as well as being able to shift between handheld and staff forms. Eyes, lime green. Hair, blonde, but dyed deep black. Origin. Holly Quiz was a neuroscientist who once performed surgery on herself into getting all knowledge in psychology. However, this rendered her utterly insane, along with being fused with other powers from unknown circumstances. After the surgery, Jester grew to an immense size and started running rampant across the island. Eventually, the villainous Ruby and Elibot arrived for another attempt to decimate the default Earth. When she got a sense of the problem, Jester joined forces with the gorgeous Dragoness to incapacitate both villains. Realizing that heroism is more fun than chaos, Jester decided to meet, remake herself, and she since was doing all that's needed to protect the innocents, along with making the greatest show ever made. Costume. She wears a green and black latex jester suit with four appendages on the cowl. Teams, solitary, or with other heroes. Origin inspiration, DC's Harley Quinn. Well, those are the three things that I'm going to introduce to you guys, and I apologize if any one of you guys is confused about characters that I have mentioned but haven't introduced as of yet. Uh, just bear with me, I'll introduce them to you in due time. I just hope things would work out, because... Like, if today's Thursday, I think... Yeah, my brother Benjamin graduates from military training today. He comes back tomorrow, and on Sunday I have to do an outing with my family and such. And, um... I hope... That this is a decent Christmas for you guys. I hope you guys could avoid Krampus and the Yule Man and such. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and such. If you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. You don't have to. I appreciate the glory, but at the same time, I don't want to feel desperate about it or anything, you know? Because otherwise, that would just go against the whole point of it all, you know? 
So I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas time and such. And until next time, in transmission.